Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman Statue Collector. And man, I am so excited because this is my favorite time of the year, not only because of the holidays, but also because we get to reflect on all the amazing pieces that came into this collection in 2023. And of course, I am going to definitely be doing a video where I'm going to be talking about my most excited picks for 2024 as well with all the stuff I have coming into the Batcave. But we're going to be focusing today on my top 10 favorite pieces that came into the Bat Bunker this year. And I'm also probably going to have some honorable mentions as well. And so I cannot wait. And again, I'm so thankful right off the bat. I'm, th I'm so thankful, guys, for all that you have done for this channel over the year. I cannot thank you enough for your support. I love each and every one of you. And so with that said, let's get right on to the countdown. Here's number 10. All right, guys, so here we go. And number 10 is a really fantastic piece from Sideshow Collectibles. It's The Dark Knight Returns, of course, sculpted by the incredible Daniel Bell. Now, you guys know if you follow the channel, this is not my favorite story. That's not my favorite art, but... There is no question that this image is one of the most iconic Batman images out there. And so I had to have it, right? I had to have it as part of the Batcave. And I still think it's an awesome piece. It is beautifully sculpted. Of course, Daniel Bell, one of the top sculptors in the industry. And I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely fantastic. And again, even though I don't have a major connection to the story, I do love this piece. It's really well done. Okay, now coming in at number nine is a very underrated piece, I believe, and this is the Lieber Mayho Catwoman third scale from Prime One Studio. This is a piece that I didn't initially pre-order because I was waiting for Hush, um, which is the one that I would prefer, right? Well, I'm going to get Hush as well, but I'm so freaking glad that I got this one. Look at that portrait. It's a very underrated piece. It is so well done. The costume that's kind of has this greenish black shimmer to it. And those portraits, oh my gosh, they are absolutely fantastic. Of course, I finally had the opportunity to meet Lee Bermejo in person in San Diego this year. Such a giant thrill. And to have this piece in my collection, I am so happy. I absolutely love her. Okay? Now, coming in at uh, number eight, uh, another amazing artist, of course, George Jimenez. Um, this at least is based on his Joker. Um, me personally, I think this is actually based on Tony Daniels' art. He has a cover that's exactly like this with the, uh, the cowl on his face. I love it. Now, some of you might have thought this might have been a little bit higher on my list. I like this Joker, but I don't love, love this Joker. I think it's an awesome representation of him. I just feel like there are better Jokers out there, but... I still think this is an absolutely phenomenal image. And again, that is Tony Daniel. You can't tell me any different. That's a Tony Daniel cover. And I absolutely love it. I have this cover. And uh, I just I think it's a great Joker. But again, it's not my favorite of all time. But I'm really still glad that he's in my collection. Really nicely done. Oh man, what what can I say, what, what can I say about this that I haven't already said, right? This is number seven. This is Talon, based on, of course, the incredible art. Greg Capullo, Scott Snyder, Court of Owls. This is a piece I still cannot believe was made. I actually thought it was going to be canceled. Uh, the ES on this one was really low. But look at the base. Of course, Court of Owls is one of my favorite stories. And I love this talent. He's super dynamic. He's super fun. I have the exclusive with the different swap outs. I'm really glad that I did that. Of course, I'm going to keep the blades out because this is the, uh, the art from Greg Capullo. And I'm considering this my great Capullo piece at this point. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get another one, but I love this piece. I think it's really fun. And uh, again, it's a villain that I never thought would be made. So thank you, Prime One, for making me a talent. Um, coming in at number six. Oh, man. This is a high-end, high-quality Jason Fabok Penguin in one-third scale. Part of that uh, combo with Batman Triumphant. I have him separated here, though. Um, he has got that faux fur, which is a really nice touch. It's just awesome. It is class. It is so well done. The, the swap outs are great with the umbrella. And I just, I love this piece so much. I love the money. I love the penguins on it. The shimmery snow on the base. It's just nice to have a really high-end penguin. Of course, Sideshow's doing their quarter scale. Um, I'm selling the Samurai one if anybody's interested. But uh, I just love this one. I think it's so well done. And it's it, it gives me that comic book feel that I've been missing in my collection for a very long time. And somebody finally made a penguin like this. And thank you so much uh, to Prime One. And speaking of Prime One, man, there's a lot of Prime One on this list. But number five is Punchline. Oh, my God. She is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Of course, I saw her. I fell in love with her at San Diego. I already had her on pre-order at that point. 
but it just solidified how great this piece is. The pop of color, the purple, she's a little stiff, you know, that we, we can agree on that, but it's really her portraits. It's where her uh, portraits absolutely shine on this piece. Um, all the different headstands and things, but it's just her personality comes through in all of the different head sculpts, and it's so well done. It's just so beautifully sculpted, and I'm so glad to have this in my collection. I think it's one of the uh, Prime One's best. I love it. Again, she could have maybe been a little bit more dynamic, but <clears throat> again, it is her it is her face sculpts that really sell this piece, and look how good they look together. I mean, really awesome piece. I love this punchline. Love her. Uh, I mentioned this piece a minute ago. This is number four. This is Batman Triumphant. Uh, I have them separated from Penguin. It's actually one I actually considered selling because the battering was sticking in the ceiling. Now, this one I moved down onto its own pedestal, and it's quickly become one of my favorites. I maybe would have liked to have seen uh, maybe a sculpted cape on this one. The fabric cape is okay, but obviously this is a Jason Fabok piece as well, and uh, which Prime One's been pretty Jason Fabok heavy this year. But I love them. I love all of these pieces. And it really just, I mean, it just speaks Batman, right? It just, it's super Batman. And I love it. I just absolutely love this piece uh, from Prime One Studio. Uh, it just looks so great. Uh, then, of course, we have another insanely good piece. This is number three. This is the Infinity Studios Joker life-size bust, one-to-one -one scale. I got this in uh, early in 2023. And it's so unique to my collection. Uh, I'm considering getting a few more busts, and but if I never do, like this I feel like is the ultimate bust for me. I think it's so well done. It looks good from most angles. Uh, from one side, it doesn't look very good, but I feel like from front and on this side over here, I feel like it looks just like Heath Ledger. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the hair right on the other side. I feel like this side looks pretty good, but oh my gosh, what presence. It's what you initially look at when you come into the room. People are in awe of it when they see it because it looks like he's ready to, to blink and ready to breathe. It's so freaking well done. You guys know how much I love Heath Ledger. Oh, so well done. Okay, this one is one of my newest ones. Number two, the Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, this, of course, is from Prime One Studio and also Blitzway. Um, this is a very, very solid piece. Um, I do have my Pure Arts cat uh, on, the, on the base there. But it's, it's just absolutely stunning. It is one of the best uh, statues that I've ever seen. I think it's so well done, the pose, the, uh, the sculpt. And of course, her head sculpt uh, is just one of the best I've ever seen. It is so phenomenal, and uh, you cannot go wrong with this piece. Um, I just uh, look at that. I mean, what else? What else can I say? Is there anything else really to say? Um, this piece has received a lot of love from the community, and congratulations to anybody uh, that's going to pick her up because I think you're going to be very, very pleased uh, with this piece overall. Really nice. So before we get to number one, I do have some honorable mentions. Uh, some other pieces that came into the cave this year that uh, I thought were absolutely fantastic. Um, Joker, uh, really great. Is he better than the original? I, I don't know. I still think I like the original better, but I'm still glad that I own this one. It's, of course, sculpted by Daniel Bell. It's a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more gnarly, um, but it's so fun. It's well done. It kind of reminds me more of that, uh, kind of like that 70s Joker feel and it's just very creepy and it's very smart where he's got the buzzer it's a lot of misdirection going on just really fun uh, really great sculpt uh, also of course the pure arts uh, batman cow catwoman cow both are really well done um, i just think that they have a really great pl place in a batman collection um, it adds something different they're not really quote unquote statues but um, they are just still a lot of fun um, also had a couple of fan art pieces. Uh, I don't review them on the channel, but I did want to just kind of highlight a couple here just because they are really well done. And uh, again, I just, I, I love art. So I, I just wanted to share this with you as well. And so that's why they didn't make the top 10 because uh, I don't review them, but I still had to show them anyway. Okay. So anyway, number one, I don't know if it's a surprise to anybody, but uh, this has quickly become one of my all time favorite statues. Um, and it might not be everybody's cup of tea. Some people don't like it. Some people don't like the Robin and the smoke. But this is my Jim Lee Hush. Okay, this is my Jim Lee Hush Joker. Um, it is so well done. I, I highly recommend this piece to everyone. You got the, the incredible head sculpt. So you got the Fabok or you got the Jim Lee or the Jim Lee portrait that's on it right now. But whenever I see it, whenever I see the bang flag, it just, it speaks hush to me. And I've always wanted a Hush Joker. 
Um, I used to have an old Kodo Wikia one when I first started collecting, and this is like an updated version of that, so much better. But look how good it looks with Santa, uh, Santa Hush Batman back there. It's just, it's just absolutely incredible, incredible. And that's why he's my number one. I love him. So there you guys have it. Uh, just so many amazing pieces have come into the collection this year. And again, I'm so thankful for you guys tuning in, for you caring about what I have to say about statues, and for helping me construct this incredible bat bunker, this bat cave. And again, I thank you so very, very much from the bottom of my heart. So I cannot thank you enough. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. And I hope you're getting to be with your family and friends and surrounded by the things that you love. And that is what is most important right now, okay? So anyway, let me know what you think about my top 10 list. And if you wanna tell, uh, tell me in the uh, comments down below what your top 10 pieces that you received, I would also love to hear it. I love to read it. Uh, and so again, thank you guys for taking time to comment, for liking the videos. That all helps with the crazy YouTube algorithm and helps us grow as we are on our road to 50K. So again, thank you guys so very much. I can't thank you enough. Happy holidays. And happy collecting, everybody. See you in the back cave. Have a good day. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the back cave.